Hi, welcome to Max 7 tutorial number, imaginary number, the square root of negative 1. It's not really a Max tutorial, it's how to do a screen movie, and since I'm doing a screen movie and I'll be showing you how to do a screen movie, I am in fear that I may um, accidentally eat my own tail and disappear in a ever contracting spiral. Well, hopefully that won't happen, so let's go over here, and um, uh, my class had been working on this, and some people needed to post it, and they said, hey, I, I just don't know how to do a screen capture, and I thought, well, gosh, I, I excuse me, screen movie, and I thought, well, I will try to show you one, but my computer may fall apart trying to do it, because right now I am using, I am doing a screen movie and now I'm going to launch a second application doing a screen movie. It could be bad, but we'll see. What people with Macintosh computers normally do is they come down here and they launch their QuickTime player. So I'm going to launch QuickTime player, and I believe you can't see my menu bar, but it now says QuickTime player. So I'm going to go up to the file. This is file. I click on it and you can probably see this window, and I select new screen recording and we get this lovely little window here what you want to do first off what you don't want to do is turn up this audio volume knob this is for a monitor it doesn't increase your um, audio input it doesn't help you get levels what it does is give you feedback unless you're wearing very expensive headphones and if you're wearing very expensive headphones and it gives you feedback, it might, you know, blow your little ears apart. But um, especially if you're trying to do what I'm doing. So don't turn that up. But instead, come over here. Well, look down here and make sure you're getting levels. I'm getting levels suitable for talking. They're not giant, but they're okay. If I turn it up anymore, given that I am using an external microphone, um, I'll start getting feedback because I have the sound up. So over here is this little white triangle. Click on it and make sure you have your microphone selected. I have my, um, what the heck is it called? Firepower um, input device here. This is what my microphone is connected to. So I have this selected so you can hear me. You would probably select your built-in microphone. And the nice thing about a built-in microphone, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, come back. Um, the nice thing about a built-in microphone is that it has automatic noise canceling, so you can probably hear a little reverb going on as I talk. Um, that's because I have the speakers turned up so that you can also hear the organ when I play it. So now um, what we're going to do is put our screen recording off to the side here, um, and we're going to go ahead, you know, in order to not kill our computer, what I'm going to do is do a recording, but I'm not going to do a full screen recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button, and now we get the option, click to record the full screen. So you could click anywhere and record the full screen, but what I'm going to do is just drag it over my keyboard right there, and now that's all I'm recording. So hopefully that will... Um, that'll be enough and then I can just push this button and start recording. I'm going to play my song and then I'm going to stop and then that'll be that. Um, that is if I can get... Um, there we go. There we go. And uh, how'd that song go? All right, fantastic. I have demonstrated to my professor that I am a genius, even though uh, um, uh, only on a small scale here. And so I'm going to stop the recording by coming down here and clicking this black square button. So that will stop that recording. Okay, so now uh, QuickTime publishes the movie, and here's the movie. 
So this is kind of funny. I can now talk over and about myself, so we can push that play. If I can get, um, there we go. Oh, that's so interesting to hear myself. There we go. No, and, uh, no, there we go. How? What? Hey, you dope. You got that key stuck on. What's the matter with you? Okay, we're just going to stop this movie because it's starting to feel like I'm living in the future. Okay, and once you have the movie, of course, what you'll want to do is save it and then upload it. Now, I don't know how you are going to do that. Some people have YouTube accounts, so they could just go up here and say, export to uh, the web, and it will give you um, these options. If you click broadband, that'll actually give you something. But uh, you know what? Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, and you can also say um, export. Ah, that's funny. I thought it had the option to export directly to YouTube. Anyway, you can export it and choose the formats um, down here. Um, I tend to go for the, ah, I see. Well, in this case, we're going to go with the 480p movie, and it says it's compatible with Mac and PC. Great. We're going to stick it in the teaching videos as um, impossible uh, demo. And then we go ahead and export it, and there's our progress. And now we have it exported, and you can then log on to your blog, uh, make a new post, and upload this by way of your blog, or you can upload this to YouTube and link to it on your blog. Any of those things are good options for you, but we have made the screen capture, we have the movie, the rest is up to you. So I'm just going to put that away. Oops, I thought I did already do this, but I guess I'll do it again. Impossible demo, and there we go. Oh, I see. I did do it twice. Okay, there you go. Well, that's it for me today, and I'm now going to uh, stop my second uh, screen movie device, um, which, if any of you want to use it, is called um, Screen... What is it called? I'm just going to check. Screen-O-Matic 2. I have the screen, sorry, Screencast-O-Matic 2. A good one. Um, and it seems to be a little lighter weight than QuickTime. So there you go. For you people out there trying to do screen, ca uh, screen movies of your work. Very good. Patch on. I'll see you later.